All praises to the Most High. Hi, beautiful people of God. So God wants me to explain some scriptures about the male witness, or the two witnesses, the branch, and to read these scriptures to you. And you can take this up with fasting and praying, because this is not of my own will. Okay, so Isaiah 28 and 17. Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the pulmit, and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the water shall overflow the hiding place. So pulmit is in Isaiah 28 and 17, talking about judgment and righteousness being laid to the line, right? To the pulmit, right? So in Zacharias 4 and 10, it says, For who has despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice. And shall see the pulmits in the hand of Zerubbabel. That is also a name for the two witnesses. So when you see that, it's talking about th this man. With those seven, they are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth. So he's going to have, this pulmit is going to be in this two witnesses hand, in the male witnesses hand which are those seven, which are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth. So in Isaiah 28 and 17, it says, Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the pulmit, and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and water shall overflow the hiding place. Because the pulmit is going to be in the hand of the male witness, who is the, which is the seven eyes of God that run to and fro through the earth, which is going to be laying judgments. And the, the two witnesses have power over all plagues to call down any judgment and any plague as often as they will. So that's why the pulmit is going to be in the hand of the, the branch, the, the male witness of God. So he wants you to know Isaiah 28 and 17 go with, with Zechariah 4 and 10. Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the pulmit, and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the water shall overflow to hide in place. Zechariah 4 and 10. For who has despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice, and shall see the pulmit in the hand of Zerubbabel with those seven. They are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth. Now, now I'm supposed to... Zechariah 4 and 10. Then said he, these are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. So what does it talk about the pulmit? Now, we're going to continue because I'm just going to go through the scriptures. These are the two anointed ones that stand beside the God of the whole earth. And in, in 4 and 10, it says for who has despised the day of small things, for they shall rejoice and see the pulmit in the hand of Jeroboam. Though with those seven, they are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth. So you see, these are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. And this pulmit is in his hand of the God of the whole earth. Now, Revelations 11 and 4. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the whole earth. So do you see this going on? Stand, that stand beside the Lord of the whole earth. That's in Zechariah 4 and 14. And then it tells you in Zechariah 4 and 10, they are the eyes of the Lord which run to and fro through the whole earth. And then Revel, um, or am I? Revelations 11 and 4. These are the two olive trees and two candlesticks standing before the God of the whole earth. And just to not miss you, it's the same people. Zechariah 4 and 11. Then answered I and said unto him, What are these two olive trees upon the right side of the candlesticks upon the left side thereof? It's These are the two anointed ones, the two witnesses of God. And I answered again and said unto him, What be these two olive branches? Isn't it the same thing as these two? These are the two anointed ones of the whole God of the whole earth. Amen. And um, just give me one second. I'm going to go to Revelations 11 and 4. These are the two olive trees and the two scandal candlesticks standing before the God of the whole earth. So this is the same people. And people are not reading the scriptures right. Um, I just don't want to miss where I'm going. So, yeah. And I answered again and said unto him, What be these two olive branches? Did we not just go through that? 
two olive trees, olive branches. Um, forgive me, I went to the wrong tab. Yeah. And I answered, said, what be these two olive branches, which through the two golden pipes empty the golden oil out of themselves? And he answered me and said, knowest thou not what these be? And I said, no, my Lord. Then said he, these are the two anointed ones that stand by the Lord of the whole earth. Now we go to Revelations. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. The daughter of Zion in the branch. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeds out of their mouth and devours their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have the power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy. So how they have the power and the power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will, because the man is the head, right? The pulmon is in the hand of Jeroboam. With those seven, with with those seven, they are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth. What is the pulmon? This is judgment. Judgment also will I lay to the line and righteousness to the pulmon. Do you get that? So it's judgment that they're the the two witnesses are given out. They they have power to shut heaven that rain not in the days of their prophecy. They have power over waters to turn them to blood. That is judgments of God. They have the powers and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And so the pulmit is the judgment and it's going to be in the hand of the male witness, which is the husband. And you can take this up with fasting and praying. And now you can understand the two witnesses he gave power unto his two witnesses, which is the two olive trees, which is the two candlesticks talking about spoken of in Zechariah and spoken of in Revelation. It's the same people. You have a blessed day.